Hi and welcome to SQL Injection Master Course. My name is Hitesh and you can find my web homepage at the below mentioned link and really please visit the link and get me a direct contact in case you are interested in some other courses. Really direct purchase is always always a beneficial deal. So finally we are moving ahead to the finalized chapters of this SQL Injection and really I have enjoyed quite a lot in this series because uh, it's something like a uh, being a writer, the writer first of all creates a murder story and then writes it out some detective story like Sherlock Holmes. So apart from the jokes like that, uh, really let's try to move ahead and let's see what we have got in this video. So in this video we will talk about again with the cookies based SQL injection. Uh, in the last video we discussed that yes SQL injection is also possible with the help of cookie parameters. And in this video, we are going to see that somehow if the user or the developer encodes the cookies values, so how we can proceed in that case as well. So consider this video as an upgradation attack from the last what we have learned. So let's try to get back out there. And again, we will move ahead into the, our interface. And here we have got lesson 18.zip file. Let me quickly move it to what we are seeing in the last couple of movies and in fact all of our movies so let me first of all move it to from slash root desktop lesson number 18 to slash var www and master and also travel to the slash var www master quickly do a ls yes file is out here and let me unzip the file of lesson number 18. Yes, all the files sub out with me. So what quickly I can do, I can simply travel to my Mozilla Firefox. And instead of level lesson 17, I will give it a lesson number 18. So again, the same uh, things are out here as we have seen in the last couple of videos, the cookie base injections. Now let us try to fuzz this application. Single codes, of course, they are not going to work because it gives us a thumbs down. And of course, if you'll put a backslash, that are also not going to work because you can look out at the source code and find out that we have used a strip slashes in such a good manner that the form is quite not wonderable, not fully, but quite not wonderable. And if I do admin, admin, it gives me a login for chapter eight. But noticing point here is in the last movie, let's let me open up that as well so that we get a double check and double sure of it. So in the last movie, let me quickly, what we have seen in the lesson number 18 that we have got this encoded format of username. Let me quickly delete this cookie and travel to lesson 17 so that I can show you some things. Admin, admin, and here we see that username was truly in the pure basic format, no encryption at all, or you can say no encoding at all, rather be perfect. So let me delete this cookie and travel back. Make sure you delete the cookies, otherwise you can be in trouble. So I have logged in with the admin admin. I have noticed that yes, I have got a cookie of uh, something like this. So let me delete. Make sure you remember that YWR is out here. Please remember this. It's quite easy to remember. Now let me log in with some other username, Holy, and let's say uh, Cow, and it just log in. Now again, we have got some different uh, encryption or encoding rather be perfect. Now, first of all, you might be saying, hey Tesh, how can we know that there are so many uh, usernames and passwords being already there. So don't worry, you just have got your database which is being delivered by me. So to use security, select star from users. And you can see that whole the things like uh, guru, guru two, thing is a noun, Thor was brave and all these, uh, you can say crappy things are out here. So what I noticed here is that we have got some different type of, let me copy it. I'm just right clicking here and, uh, or I can simply right click here and click on copy. So I'm copying the username, the cookie parameter out here. And let me just delete the cookie, log in with some other name that is admin and admin. I have copied the cookie of 
holy user that is the with the password cow now i am submitting it okay now i am logged in as the admin username now again i'll click on tool i'll click on cookie manager plus find out the local let me quickly refresh it okay so let us just delete it okay refresh it again because i don't want to get into the any kind of trouble oops but i forgot that i have to grab the cookie as well now this is really really junk chunky part so holy and cow again i will do a copy now this is a very tedious thing delete the cookie because cookie manager sometimes gives a flaw and i'm not worried about it because i can do it a couple of times it's my machine so things are again out here go to tools and cookie manager plus you name edit the cookie and in the edit i'll see that the content is actually being ywr something so ywr this is the cookie but what happens if i change the parameters with something that i have already copied from the last user let me just hit save and let me just close it down so if i do a refresh again now you see that my login name is being changed to holy now this is actually the core concept behind stealing the session uh, in the xss attack or some water attacks like that this is also very dangerous and yahoo is one of the pretty much good example of facing this vulnerability for a long time ago and for quite a number of days so yahoo was actually having no idea that this vulnerability exists and someone can steal out the cookies and can log in into any account with the active cookies absolutely but our goal is not to learn that attack of course we have learned that but not to learn that attack what we want to hear is is somewhat different now before jumping out here let me again open up my cookie manager plus localhost edit the cookie now i want to check out what this encryption is uh, as quick hint that a double equals at the back at the end shows depicts me that he has it is a base 64 encoding and once the encoding technique is being leaked out it can do a massacre over there so with the eventual time you will spend on the pen testing you will find out that what are the different types of encoding and decoding techniques for the base 64 i have found one very good website that is base 64 encode.org you can find out yours as well uh, let me try to just okay let me first go to the decode and try out what is this actually encoding been so let me decode it and it's taking a bit and it says holy so what i have found out that user has actually what it has done it has taken the username and encoded into the base 64 and put it as a cookie explicitly what i can do this gives me a really good hint that hey this what you can do if you want to log in with let's say avenger you can simply put the cookies of avenger as well so let me encode the avenger as well avenger let me encode it once i encode it i can copy it put it in my cookie manager save it and can reload again the values and hopefully i'll be log in with the avenger so yes we have worked it avenger so how we can proceed with the sql injection in such a case because if i quickly do here uh, edit and put a backslash at the end of course it's not going to work but it's it's a worth giving a try so it says hey Itesh, it's not going to work so what explicitly you can do avenger and a backslash now let us try to encode it it will take a couple of seconds just for us and i think it has done yes absolutely so now let me copy this put it in the my cookie manager edit and let me place it out here and place it out here save it and again go back here and hit a refresh 
Now, this time successfully we have got that, hey, you have an SQL syntax error, check the manual that's correspond. Now, again, with a single quote and bracket at the end, now, rest of the thing should be clear to you by the now because I have taken this SQL injection series in such a depth that I hope that you can proceed out after this step. Because after this step, you the basic core idea is you just have to encode everything into the base 64 and put it onto the cookie manager and then you can proceed step by step like order by one, order by two, then union select numbers, database, versions, tables, and the data. So this is also one very good attack that can be found out on majority of website, helping in get you a lots of bug bounty as it has done with me as well. So this was all about the cookie base injection. And of course, uh, we are merging toward the, towards the end of this video series. So hopefully if I'll find any other uh, major type of SQL injection attack, I'll be updating it on my series. So keep checking regularly and uh, keep enjoying the SQL attacks. So that's all for this video and thank you so much for watching.